for you. Hello my love, right today I'm going to do a dish using um, neck of lamb and usually at this time of year when winter's coming on in the UK one of our favourite dishes is a stew and neck of lamb stew is always lovely but a little while back well two or three weeks ago I thought wonder what it would taste like if I tried to curry it so I thought okay I will try it and do a lamb, neck of lamb curry. And for this, I used um, a spice in a bottle, Rogan, Rogan Josh, okay? And I've used many of these various prepared um, curries, and this particular one is by far the best. So we'll get round to that later. Meanwhile, this is your neck of lamb. So what we have to do is firstly cut all these horrible little fatty pieces. If there's one thing I hate, it's all the lamb fat. It's, it's not just fat, it's, it's like a grease. And I never enjoy that. But what's enjoyable about using neck of lamb is these lovely pieces on the bone and when they're in the dish and and you're eating it's very nice to pick them up and actually use your fingers for once and it's so enjoyable a lot of people in eastern europe like to um, actually pick the meat up and eat it like that so what we do is we get these nice pieces as you can see i'm taking a few pieces off which i'm going to put aside because um we'll do them in a slightly different way and the idea firstly is to take all the bony bits and practically stew them in some hot water and leave them in there for a good I've already cut cut some of it off as you can see and leave it in the hot water for a good hour um, just to really make um, make it tender so not so many bones in this one um, but it is a typical, this one um, came from um, Esther, Esther stores. They always do a nice little pack of um, lamb pieces or you can get a pack with all uh, neck of lamb bones. So I've got a mixture today. So firstly, um, we've got this to go in to hot water. Okay, so because my fingers, but as you can see, I do love messing about with the food with my fingers so in it goes bring that back to the bowl put the salt and pepper and that's going to be on a very very low gas he says relighting the gas okay so there you go that's going to be left on a very low gas for about one hour. No, just stay there a minute. For anybody who always has a job sorting out their pineapple, we use our pineapple. Okay, and this gives us a nice little bit of sweetness in the dish. And I would say for anybody who's oh, don't like curry very much. I would say, well, this is not a strong curry, okay? And you can always tell your curry strength by the peppers, just two peppers. Um, ladies don't like it too high at any time. So you can always get a good curry um, that's just got a one pepper on the jar. Um, this just being two, this is very, very nice. And if you put some... If we add some of the pineapple into the dish, then it is finally finished. Okay, so there we go. So if you'd like to come back in about an hour's time and then we will take it from there. Right, welcome back. It's just about an hour since we put our pieces of lamb in there. And we definitely want to keep that particular 
juice and let it cool down and then take off skim off all the horrible fat that I was telling you about earlier which I don't particularly like and in the meantime I have been sweating some onions and what we're going to do now is we're going to just brown the pieces of lamb that are removed from the bones earlier on okay so here we go just turn them in brown up a bit and then I'll just show you what happens with this curry sauce because some people I think get a little bit confused uh, that's how it comes off simple peel and then we just pull that back and this is why I like this particular curry sauce it's really really effective and really tasty and what we do is while this is just browning off we actually mix that particular spice in with the lamb and basically got a nice ring to it let's leave that for a Another minute or so, and once again back to our Rog and Josh. Okay, and it's made for Audi spe specifically for Audi, but it doesn't say who. But whoever does it, they certainly do an excellent job. It's a really, really lovely, lovely sauce. I can highly recommend it. As I said earlier, that will be left to cool off, and once I add the bones to this meat then we pour the curry over the top and it will be cooking again for another well as long as you want really the longer you can cook it the more tender everything is when it comes out the pot so I think in about one and a half hours maybe a bit longer there we go so you can see how that is can I just get that spoon there, please? Thank you. And what we're going to do now is we're going to... Oh. Actually add the curry sauce. Add our buns. Just say not wasn't all um, bones this particular neck but uh, you can experiment simply by buying a pack that's just the actual bones from the neck depends how you want to do it and there we have it for the next next hour and a half and so we'll see you then okay so there we are this has been in the oven for three hours now. I did actually um, add the pineapple about an hour ago. So, just put the rice on the plate. And these are the tasty bones. And also quite a fair bit of meat in there. And so that's what we're looking at. As a dish. And at the end of the day, a little bit of coriander which gives it a nice flavour generally speaking that is not too hot but if, if you do try it and you think it's a little bit too hot then mango chutney is always the best thing to have if a curry is too hot you always sweeten it up mango chutney is good if you're cooking it yourself and it's too hot add some sugar to it just to uh, take the heat away there you go.
Pillow Rice. Thank you very much. See you again. Bye-bye.